All right, it is time for episode two of my Japanese snack review. Where uh, it's a series where I open up food, put it in my mouth, and tell you what I taste. And today uh, we have a mix of stuff from the May 2019 uh, Japan Crate and the June 2019 Japan Crate. Uh, so without further ado, um, you know it's pretty obvious stuff. This is um, jalapeno and onion Pringles. Wait, I think it is. Let me just double check. It is indeed jalapeno and onion, as it says there, as you have that lovely band. Uh, that's on top. It's a jalapeno and an onion, as you'd kind of expect. Now, I was quite fond of the last Pringles I had, which were yakisoba flavour, I believe, which is um, fried noodles. Now, these sound like they're quite interesting. So, uh, regular shape. I'm going to give it a try. Hmm. Okay, that's nowhere near as spicy as I was expecting, actually. Um, now, I've had, I think, jalapeno-flavoured Pringles before, um, you know, that they released in the UK regularly, so I'm used to that flavour anyway. I will say there's far less of a kick to this one. It doesn't it doesn't have any kick or spice to it, really. Get a bit of an oniony flavour, then the jalapeno takes over, and then that's it. I'm going to try another one. Yeah, that's really odd, actually. Like, by the time you've finished, you know, crunching the Pringle and you've swallowed it, the flavour's kind of gone. There's, like, a hint of it still on my tongue. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to be honest. This didn't really live up to it. I mean, you... Actually, wait. I don't think it's jalapeno I'm thinking of at all. It may be paprika um, that this reminds me of. Like, the paprika Pringles. Because, yeah, it's got, like, that really, really mild, like, kick to it. It's a bit oniony, uh, obviously. And, like, then just disappears. Yeah, um, all right, well, they're not bad, but, you know, there's probably better flavours, especially if you're looking for spicy things. Maybe try a different one. All right, it's time for Bake Matcha. And it is, indeed, um, pronounced Bake, because that says Beku. Um, yeah, and it's the Hello Kitty one. I don't really understand the collaboration, but I believe Hello Kitty or Sanrio are like 50 years old or whatever this month. Um, so it makes sense because uh, this month, this year, because I know there's been a Gundam collaboration. Anyway, I can open this, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah, as I was saying, there's like a Gundam collaboration with Hello Kitty. And there's also a My Hero Academia one uh, recently announced. Anyway, that's not why you're here. Why you're here is to see the chocolate matchery things. So yeah, they're like biscuity things, if he wants to focus. Thank you. Um, yeah, they apparently don't melt in your hands, which is nice. And it's like green chocolate or something. It's got matcha inside. It might be matcha chocolate. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to give it a bite. Mmm. Wow, that is a... That's a very strong um, matcha flavour. I really like matcha, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, damn, that is like... That really kicks you with a matcha flavour, especially for something so small. It's like, yeah, and the crunch is quite nice. Like, the outer shell isn't anything, really. It's really thin, biscuity stuff. But yeah, that is damn nice. It's a kind of gone airy, chocolatey kind of feel to the uh, matcha inside. That's really nice. Obviously, if you're not into matcha... I think this is going to be a bit much for you, but um, as a big fan of that, that's really, really nice, actually. And, like, the fact they're so small and stuff, you can have, like, one or two and this will last you days or weeks. Yeah, that's really nice, actually. Highly recommended. Next snack. Did anyone order a burger? Uh, if you did, you'd be very disappointed with this, because this looks nothing like a burger. This is Burger Gummy. Uh, what company makes it? I don't know. Uh, they didn't say in the thing, and I can't really be asked to check online. So, yeah, that is the burger. That's the top bun. It's like lettuce, I guess. That is that meant to be the meat? If that's meant to be the meat. That's as, <laughs> that's as pale as the um, burger. What the hell have you been doing? And then there's obviously ketchup and the bottom bun. Uh, does this come out in one? Yes, it does. Oh, actually, it, yeah, it's stuck together. So, there you go. There is the magnificent burger. 
I'm not expecting a ton from this, it's quite small and stuff, but you know, I'll give it a try. Whoa, that was a tough old bit of gummy stuff, but actually I, I take back what I say, what I said. That's really, really nice actually. You kind of get a the bun or you know, the the sort of bready kind of bits are nice and just general gummy stuff. But you can actually taste both the red and the green thing. There's like a bit of cherry kind of stuff. There's a bit of apple, maybe, or sort of you can tell there's two different kind of fruit flavours. They are artificial stuff, obviously, by the looks of it. Um, yeah, that weren't bad, actually. That's really nice. Like, a lot nicer than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, kudos. Right, on to the next snack. Alright, it's time for the Warugaki beer candy, as you can see there. It is a bad kid's beer, basically. Put the powder in, put water, and it looks like beer. Now... I have in front of me a nice uh, tankard CM Captain Morgan's, I believe. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to do that. I have a bottle I've kept in the fridge that's nice and cold, filled with uh, tap water. So I'm going to give it a go, basically. Um, I'm expecting this is just going to be like sugary stuff. I don't know. All right, let's put her in. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> it just looks like sugar, actually. Let's give it a smell. Ooh. Oh, that's an, that's an interesting uh, thing. It's a bit lemony, I think. I'm expecting like Ramune-esque stuff. So I have a spoon with me here to stir. I'm going to add some water. Uh, right. Get it to go up there. Let's give it a nice stir. All right, so I've I've given it a good old stir. Uh, it does look a bit like beer, to be honest. It's kind of got that frothy top forming, which is quite nice. It's a bit yellowy uh, in the body. Again, quite nice. Um, yeah, not bad looking. I was kind of expecting a bit more of a frothy head, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, let's give this a taste. Ooh, okay. <laughs> wow, I... I really wasn't expecting that, actually. Um, as I said, I was expecting some like sweet, kind of sugary thing. This just tastes like a kind of flat beer. Um, not necessarily all, you know, an amazing thing, really, because, um, yeah, it just, I don't know, if you've ever had beer, it's kind of tastes like slightly cheap flat beer. Um, there's no There's no sweetness to it at all, actually. Um, it does have quite an authentic like head to it as well, so kudos to them there. Yeah, this ain't bad. It looks like the real thing. It tastes like the real thing, kind of, if you had to buy like a really cheap can of beer or something. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. That's exactly... It's actually way more authentic than I thought it would be, but equally, I can't see... I can't see many kids being like, yeah, this is cool, because it's just... It doesn't taste all that great. It's kind of... Flat cheap beer. Uh, <laughs> right, okay, cool. On to the next snack. Alright, the king is back, baby, and this is the king's melon bread. Um, yeah, it's melon pan biscuits, or melon bread biscuits, cookies, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and, yeah, I've had the chocolate ones before. The chocolate ones are very nice, because they're um, kind of biscuity chocolate in the middle. These, however, I'm very excited for. Um, so yeah, melon pan is del Oh wow! Oh yeah, they actually look like melon bread as well. That's really cool. Right then, let's take a bite. That is some good stuff. So um, it's kind of a regular biscuity thing, but inside that like chocolatey looking gooey thing um, really tastes like melon. Like it's not an overpowering taste, but you get I don't know you get the taste of melon. I'm gonna finish this off. Yeah, that is. Pretty damn nice. I will say, um, slight criticism, the biscuit is really thick, but the stuff in the middle, which is kind of like watery chocolate, that's not a very good description, I know, um, it's, not, it's not super strong. You get the taste of melon, but you don't get like an overwhelming taste. Um, could have been a bit stronger, but you know, it's a nice little gimmick. Um, yeah, not bad. You know, I probably wouldn't buy one of these again anytime soon, but still. On to the next snack. Alright, it's it's time for the afternoon tea 
cheese milk tea flavour. I don't know what this is going to taste like. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit afraid. Um, yeah, it meant to taste like mascarpone, which I believe is a cheese. So, now, someone, actually, I'm going to shake it quickly. Someone in the comments did say it's not too bad, but don't smell it. Um, so, I'm going to smell it first, because I, I don't take advice very well. Let's, let's, let's have a smell. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's... Smells a lot of, like cheese, I'll be honest. Um, oof, right. I'm going to have a small amount. I think that's enough, honestly. So it's got like a... It's not as... No, it's kind of thick, actually. Um, right, well. Bottoms up. Oh. Oh, that's weird. That's... Oh. That's very weird. Don't mm. Ooh, I I oh man, I don't know I don't know what to think about that. That's this uh, I'm gonna try a tiny bit more. Like So I've refrigerated this, um which I think is like the correct way to drink it. Um <clears throat> yeah, it's so I'll try and describe it. It's like imagine milk tea, right? It's got that milk tea thing. But there's the kick of like savoury. It's a bit cheesy for like a second and then it's not and then it is again and then it's not. And I'll try once more. Mm, yeah, okay, I'm I'm not sold on that. It's like when it hits your tongue, you get a cheese taste. Then it goes down, it's quite smooth, it's like milk tea, and it's not bad. Uh, especially chilled is really nice. Then you get like the cheese aftertaste. Oh man, the it's so close to being interesting, like, milk tea would have been great, I think, honestly. I don't know why, why would you, why would you do cheese, though? I'm, oh man, I'm so conflicted, I think I'm going to have to bin this, I, I'm not, I mean, I'm lactose intolerant, so this is already going to mess me up, maybe, but, oh, that's, that's a difficult one, I do not recommend that one, that's, oh. I think it's the first drink we've had from Japan Grey where I've been like, ooh, definitely never drinking that again. So yeah, that about wraps up the video. Um, I was going to do a few more snacks, actually, but I realise it's been about three weeks now and we've only done like five snacks, just because I've been pretty busy. I only eat like snack things on the weekends really as a treat, so I am kind of limited. Um, However, I will, I mean, I'll keep doing these snack reviews, so, you know, there's no there's no time limit for them and stuff. If you did enjoy, that's good. If you didn't enjoy, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, there should be a Japan Crate video coming up soon, unless I've already published it before this one. But either way, until next time, goodbye.